Hi, Paint Pouring People. Today is Valentine's Day, so naturally I'm gonna do one of my heart spins. I'm gonna spin it on this cake spinner. Before I start, you know, I'm always demoing, in all my videos, I demo my happy medium paint ready to pour, and I'm using my old, well-worn bottles. And I don't even think about it. I, I forget to, to show you our new bottles. This is our own line of paint ready to pour called Happy Medium. All of our colors come in either 32 ounce or 64 ounce. And I wanted to just show you this today because a lot of people order this. The, if you wanna paint big, if you wanna have uh, paint pouring parties or teach a class, the 64 ounce size is just fantastic. And, or if you just wanna stock up and make sure you have plenty of paint on hand, you know, the, the more paint you have, the bigger ideas you can execute. So keep that in mind. And Happy Medium Paint, you can only order it at happymedium.fun. We don't sell it on Amazon or anywhere else. It's got everything you need in it for a successful pour. And that's what I use in all my videos. So today I'm going to uh, I have a 12 by 12 canvas. I've got my cake spinner that I'm going to use. And I'm gonna do a classic red, pink background and then pour a heart on it. And we're going to spin it after that. So let's just get started. I'm gonna do the background first. This is red line. This is Flamingo, it's really a, a nice pink. Just kind of randomly uh, interchanging between these two colors. And then I'm gonna use of this, uh, this is called Sparkly Cloud, it's a pearl. It's very neutral. It's similar to white, but it's not. It's, it's just a nice neutral that you can actually use with just about anything. I'm just gonna throw a little bit in here. Don't wanna get too much, just an accent. And black is going to be my swipe color. So it's gonna have a black background. I'm just gonna run some black across this end here. Okay, there's some black. I'm gonna use my offset spatula for a swiping tool. You can always also use a paper towel. I've done that before, but I kind of prefer my spatula and we're just gonna spread this out and get us a, a nice background for our heart. Swipe. And I'm gonna clean my spatula off so I don't mix up the paint too much when I swipe. Get some coverage right here where I missed. So that's kind of an interesting background. And when we spin it, this is gonna change. But it is now ready for me to pour my heart shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some, I'm gonna, uh, my heart shape is gonna be white and I'm going to pour some into a, a paper cup so I have a little more control over it rather than pouring straight out of the bottle. And for those of you who are concerned about waste, I use these little paper cups over and over again. You can see there's some pink in there, but I let it dry and I just reuse it. You can get a lot of use out of a paper cup. You don't have to throw them away. You don't have to wash them out. Just gonna pour some white in there. Don't need much. Now I'm gonna pinch it and I'm gonna pour a heart shape and keep it on the small side, keep it pretty centered. Because this will grow when we spin it. Oh, 
All right, let's see what happens. Now here's a critical thing for spinning. I have my cardboard corral. What this is, is two flat pieces of scrap cardboard that I bent into a, uh, a rectangle shape. And I'm gonna cover it, cover my uh, canvas with this. I have these clamped together on the ends. So if you're storing this, you can actually unclamp it and store it flat, but you can use this cardboard corral over and over again. You just may need to make sure that it's big enough where there's enough room to spin without uh, your canvas hitting the edge. So here we go. This is the fun part. Let's spin this and see what happens. So this technique has a mind of its own, but it's also a little forgiving because you can adjust this. This is a, I mean, this is a lopsided heart. I can see the bottom uh, went off the edge. You can see how, how small I started and then it, it just grew. But what I'm, what I'm liking is these little spiky things sticking out. However, it's just a tick lopsided. I'm gonna see if I can do a little something to make it a little more uh, symmetrical here on the top. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pour a little more right here. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go like this to reestablish the point at the bottom of the heart. It, you know, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all a fun thing. I'm just going around the whole thing you can see now. It's a fun technique. I like to make sure I get a nice point down here so you can see the heart shape. So I added a little more here. We'll see if we can get a little more symmetry. Okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give it a light spin to see if I can get some, some more movement. So again, my, my favorite thing about these spins is these spikes. I didn't get a lot of spike here. I'm gonna try spinning in, a, in the other direction just to see if I can get a little more of that, that action that I like. So I'm gonna go this way, see what happens. I'm gonna spin one more time, see if I can get a little more action here. I like this right here. I like this down here. I like the cells in the middle. I think it's a, an interesting piece right now. I would really like to see this. I could cheat and use my tool, uh, but let me just spin it one more time and see what, we, what happens. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. There we go. See, now I'm liking that. This spiky action, that's the, the hallmark of these spins. For me, anyway, this is, this is what I'm seeking, is that fun spinning shape that you really can't get without spinning. Uh, there's plenty of uh, paint pouring techniques, but this is the only one to me that will give you that, that, that movement and the spikies and the, the flying paint from the centrifugal force. So, and also the, the key to these types of paintings to me is to do a series. If you look behind me, I have a lot of uh, paint of heart spins that I've done previously. They all go together. They're all different. Every single one of them is different. They're a lot of fun. This one um, that I did here today, I like it. It's got a, it's got a Valentine feel, but you can see the blues are pretty, the golds. Even the, the white and black. I even like that green one. 
So try some different color combinations. I did this Valentine color today because, hey, it's Valentine's Day, but doesn't matter what day you're watching this video, you can do this anytime. There's always an excuse to, do, to, to paint a spinning heart because it's a cheerful, very nice technique and it's a fun, it's a fun shape to make. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have an Amazon uh, shopping list that has all my favorite uh, pouring supplies, including this cake spinner which is really good. You, you've got to have a cake spinner. You won't regret it. If you use those little plastic, inexpensive, uh, lazy Susans, they don't spin like this cake spinner does. This, you, you will love uh, this cake spinner if you get it. And I hope you give it a try. And uh, thanks for watching. Check out my Facebook group called Paint Pouring People. Happy Medium Paint is at happymedium.fun. We appreciate your business and we appreciate you watching. Please let me know how your paintings come out. Leave a comment below and we'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day.